Hello and welcome to CN Data Structures training session. In this session, we'll be doing some practical examples on file IO. So in this session, we'll be covering uh, mostly on uh, how to write a program uh, to write uh, some content into a file and uh, a program to read the contents from the file. So uh, let's get started. So let's create a file for uh, this. tdio.h zero okay so let's have a file pointer fp xt and and the o I'll be opening it in a right plus mode. Now f print f uh, file pointer and some text. Let me put uh, use f put as this will also write some content in the file. This content let me close the file. So, this is how we will be. Uh, writing it into the file we'll be creating a file pointer file pointer and then initializing it with the file name uh, you can give an absolute path or uh, some path now if i just give uh, the file name like this it will create the file in the same folder where my uh, .c file is and i'm creating it in a, and, and i am opening it in a right more right mode uh, so that I can write the content into the file. Uh, first, I'm writing some text like this is a test content using fprintf command, and then I'm writing some other uh, like this another test content using fputs command. So, uh, let me save and uh, compile the program. So, geez. Program is compiled successfully. Let me run it. Okay, program is run successfully. Let let's check if there is any file called uh, test.txt. Yes, it is there. Let me open it. So, this is the content in the test file. This is the test content. This is another test content. So this is how uh, you can uh, use the file uh, or you can write the content into the file. Okay, so uh, let's write one more program, uh, write a program to uh, read from the file. So I will be uh, reading uh, the same, same file. So I will be reading same test.txt file. So let me write a program for it. First, let's create a file for it. Okay. Uh, Io.h mean okay uh, 
let's have a file pointer um, p assign fp to f open test dot txt okay and in a read okay now let's you uh, let's have a buffer let's have it with the c 256 length you can give any, any length that you want uh, let's use a scanf okay this is scanf file pointer dash s here we are reading a string and then we are reading string into buffer So let's print. Yes. So this this is how we will be using our scanner. Let's uh, use one more command. Let's use f get us. So let me use f get us like this uh, so then how much uh, characters do we want to use so let me give me 256 because our buffer length is 256 and then i have type cast it to file pointer f so this is how we we use f get us to uh, read the content from the file and now so it's not a printer printer more visible so what this program will be will be doing so this program will be opening a file in a read only mode and then uh, we'll be reading a string from the file uh, so this uh, in uh, this line will read the first string till it reaches the uh, any space or tab something so first string will be read uh, from the file and uh, kept it into the buffer okay now this statement what it will be doing it will be reading uh, the f uh, the rest of the file till it reaches the end of the line or till the buffer size is uh, exhausted so either 256 characters or till it reaches the end of the line so uh, in this way we will be uh, using both the commands or both the uh, functions f scan f and f get s so let's try to uh, run the program. See, so program is compiled successfully. Let me run it. So, what it is, uh, what this program does. It read the first string using f uh, scan f so it prints this and then it read the rest of the string using f get us so uh, this is how we can use uh, uh, file reading operations using f uh, scan f and f get us we have covered both writing into a file and reading from the file so I hope this uh, session is uh, helpful to you so thanks for joining this session i'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video please like the video and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment us in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos do look out for other related videos
in our playlist. For more information, visit our website now. Keep learning with IntelliPad.